Welcome to our Escontrias Elementary Library. Today, we're going to be reading A Fine Dessert, which is a Blue Bonnet nominated book for the 2016-2017 school year. So are you ready? A Fine Dessert, Four Centuries, Four Families, One Delicious Treat, by Emily Jenkins and Sophie Blackall. A bit more than 300 years ago, in an English town called Lyme, a girl and her mother picked wild blackberries. Their hands turned purple with the juice. The thorns of the berry bushes pricked the fabric of their long skirts. When they got home, the woman skimmed the cream off the evening's milk. She added it to the cream from the morning's milk and began to beat it up with a bundle of clean, soft twigs. Beat, 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 beat. Her arm began to ache. Beat, 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 beat. Fifteen minutes later, she stopped. Whipped cream. The girl drew water from the well. She put the berries in a piece of muslin and rinsed them. Then she squashed and strained them through the muslin, getting rid of the seeds. Together, she and her mother poured sugar on the fruit and then mixed it with the cream. You may lick the spoon, love, said the woman. So the girl did. Mmm. They carried the mixture to an ice pit in the hillside. It chilled near sheets of winter ice packed with reeds and straw. After the family supper, cold chicken, mushroom, ketchup, and meat pie, they spooned the blackberry full into blue dishes and served it to father and the older brothers. Even the baby had some. Mm, mm, mm. Later in the kitchen, the girl licked the bowl clean. What a fine dessert. A bit more than 200 years ago, outside a city called Charleston, South Carolina, a girl and her mother picked blackberries from the plantation garden. A horse-drawn wagon delivered cream from a nearby dairy. The girl beat the cream with a metal whisk made by the local blacksmith. Beat, 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 beat. Her arm began to ache. Beat, beat. Ten minutes later, whipped cream. The girl washed the berries in the water from the well. Then she smashed them through a tin sieve with the back of a spoon, getting rid of the seeds. Together, she and her mother poured sugar on the fruit and then mixed it with the cream. You may lick the spoon, child, the woman said. So the girl did. Mmm. They carried the mixture to a wooden box in the basement. It was stacked with blocks of ice, lined with lead, and insulated with cork. They put the bowl in. After waiting table at supper, where the master and his family ate turtle soup, roast turkey, corn cakes, and sweet potatoes, they spooned the blackberry full into yellow dishes and served it. Later, the girl and her mother hid in the closet and licked the bowl clean together. Mm, mm, mm. What a fine dessert. A bit more than 100 years ago, in a city called Boston, Massachusetts, a girl and her mother bought two wooden boxes of blackberries at an open-air market. When they got home, their morning's delivery of pasteurized cream was waiting at the door in pretty glass bottles. The woman looked at a recipe book. She beat the cream with cast iron rotary beaters. Whirl, whirl, whirl. Five minutes later, whipped cream. 
The girl drew water from the new faucet in the kitchen. She washed the berries and smashed them through a sieve with her fingers. Her hands turned purple with the juice. Together, she and her mother poured sugar on the fruit and then mixed it with the cream. Do you want the spatula, my pet? said the woman. Yes, please, said the girl and licked it clean. Mmm. They carried the blackberry fool to a wooden ice box stocked with blocks of ice they had delivered each day. After Sunday dinner, potato soup, roast chicken, and canned asparagus on toast, they spooned the fool onto green dishes and ate it together with father and the younger brothers. Even the baby had some. Mm, mm, mm. Back in the kitchen, the girl ran her tongue along the inside of the bowl. What a fine dessert. Just a couple of years ago, in a city called San Diego, California, a boy and his dad bought two cardboard boxes of blackberries and a carton of pasteurized organic cream at the supermarket. When they got home, the man printed out a recipe from the internet. The boy beat the cream with an electric mixer. Zzzz. Two minutes later, whipped cream. It reminded the boy of shaving foam. The man ran water in the sink and washed the berries in a colander. He crushed them in a food processor, then pushed them through a sieve with a plastic spatula. Together, they poured sugar on the fruit and then mixed it with the cream. Can I lick the spatula? asked the boy. Of course you can, buddy, said the man. So the boy did. Mmm. They put the mixture in the refrigerator. The doorbell rang and friends surged in, bringing cartons of lemonade, grilled vegetables, enchiladas, and tomato salad. After a, a good dinner, the man and his son spooned the blackberry full into white dishes and served it to the guests. Everyone gobbled it up, especially the babies. Mm, mm, mm. After the guests went home, the boy stood in the messy kitchen, licking the inside of the bowl. What a fine dessert. But the blackberry fool had been a very, very delicious. There wasn't much left. And here is the recipe for the blackberry full. And that is the end. Hope you enjoyed the story.